here. Button pushers. <laughs> That's right. Okay, guys. Hey, welcome. It is Wednesday. Lots of light today, huh? That's it. Yes. <laughs> Got the lights on. Bright, sunshiny day. Our top story today is five things that you want to remove before the photographer shows up to photograph your home. That's right. You know, 97%, and I would guess it's 100, but let's go with 97% of home buyers are looking on the internet. They start their search on the internet, and so it's really important that your photography be really, really good. So we have some tips to help your photos be even extra special. It is. I think the number one thing, in no particular order, is tall vases. Large floral arrangements, tall vases. Is that what you see, Lise? Yeah, it's just a distraction um, when you have... So they might look beautiful in person, but sometimes they can make the, fo make the photos look um, distracting. Um, you know, we look at photos all the time on the MLS constantly, and there are some just doozies out there. I'm sure you guys have seen them too. We're actually, I'm in a couple of Facebook groups for just MLS fo uh, photos that are, you know, crazy ones. And you would just think, I mean, some classics are like the agent's driving by the house and they're taking a picture on their phone and they don't get out of the car. And so they're in the driver's seat. They're taking a picture of a house over here. They got the car, the house. And they're still moving, so it's blurry. So ones like that, or there's people in them, like walking through, or pets, or running through, or you know, crazy things we've seen. So we want to try and avoid that. Yes, we're not saying anything bad about flowers. I do find it ironic, and I don't think we've ever talked about this. Sometimes you'll be 60 photos in the different website distribution places where you can see a house, and five or six of them will be of flowers that are like a couple of feet away and it's like I really don't get a sense of the house when you take a photo of a flower. Well yeah like close-ups <laughs> of you know little details it's just funny because well, that's not I mean, I mean I think sometimes you put as a, as a seller and the listing agency to put on your buyer's hat and know what they want to see. What do the buyers want to see? The house. The house. They want to see the kitchen, the bathrooms, the yard, you know, the things that we all like flip through the pictures for first. Make those good and easy to find. I think sometimes when I see the photos of just the flowers or close-ups of a gate handle or something that's probably artistic from the photographer's point of view, I feel like the photographer's just bored and they want to get an artsy shot out of this house. Have you ever felt that way? Uh, you know, I can never figure it out. I always try and make our photos look like, of course we always use professional photography, but we want to make them look like the house looks. So you walk into the house and so you can give the buyer a feeling for what it's really like. And we like to do it sequentially too. So if you walk in the front door and the first thing off the front door to the right is the office, so our photos are going to show the front door, the entry hall, and then the office, and then go to the different rooms of the house. Isn't that how we try to do it? Right. Yeah. yeah. I usually put in the photo, so that's why I was making sure that I was doing that right. <laughs> <laughs> you would think it would be obvious to do things like empty the trash and make the beds, but you know, based on all the MLS photos we've looked at, it's not so obvious. So empty all the trash and make the beds before you shoot the photos, and all these things apply too for showings. <laughs> I get, I'm kind of laughing. You know, one thing that I like to see in photos, that, well, I don't know if I like to see it or not, is the toilet seat lid down in the bathrooms. I mean... Oh, I was getting to that. That's oh, on my list. Like, oh, one sorry. of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> We're talking about trash we, and These the, are things we talk, we, talk, we talk about. Toilet seats. Make sure your toilet seats are closed, are down, for showings and photography. And uh, probably general purpose. Well, and open houses. <laughs> like, we got to have one on Sunday. woo Yes. We were so excited. We had our first open house in over a year. What's the first thing I did? Close the toilet lids. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, wash your hands because of the COVID protocol. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Another thing to avoid for photography is small rugs. So make sure you move your runners and small rugs in the bathrooms, maybe in the kitchen, in the hallways. Move them. They're just distracting, and they make the space look smaller, and they're a trip hazard, too. So remove all small rugs for photography and showings. Yeah, I mean, that's why they call it wall-to-wall -wall carpet. So if you've got a small rug in the center of a room, it makes the whole room look, look small. Mm -hmm. And that's not what we're looking for. 
That's right. Another one, always all too many appliances. What I tell my sellers is you can keep one appliance on the kitchen counter. You can keep the one you use all the time. So if you use your blender every day or your coffee maker every day or your toaster, you're allowed one. The rest of them all go away. I was going to say the fridge. That's probably your number one. Well, yeah, well, you, well, you can keep your fridge. <laughs> what? You're in a mood today. I know. I was just wondering, you, you know, you fridge. You can keep your fridge. I mean, countertop appliances. Yes. Well, I read that somewhere where, you know, the fridge is fine. So I wanted to throw that in there. But the refrigerator stays. <laughs> How about this one? This one's a big one. Mismatched light bulbs. Oh, my gosh. Another one of my pet peeves. Uh, is mismatched light bulbs that are different shapes, sizes, colors, watts, any of the above. This is especially noticeable in chandeliers and in the uh, bathroom fixtures in, in the bathroom. That they have a brownish soft white, and they have a blue one, then they have the circle kind, then they have a chandelier light bulb. <laughs> make they sure LED lights. Yeah, they're, and they're different. Just yeah, don't do that. So make sure all your light bulbs in the fixture all match. Same kind, same color, same wattage. It's easy to do. I mean, light bulb goes there. I can just go grab a light bulb and put it in there. But when somebody's walking through, or the photographer's in there taking the photos, more importantly, it really throws some strange reflections and lights and looks odd if all the light bulbs don't match. I know that's something small, but it equates to something very large when 97% of people, at least, start off looking at the photos of their home <laughs> online. That's right, that's right. Another thing to avoid is anything moving. So the ceiling fans should not be moving. I know we've shot houses where we gotta go around and turn off all the ceiling fans and wait till they stop, because they just show blurry in the photos. And make sure that the TVs are off. So the TV on not only is a lighting issue, but sometimes it can date the the photos. Same with calendars. You want to make sure all your calendars are put away because again it can date the photos. If the calendar is open to April and it's September you know that that house has been on the market for a while. <laughs> Which is not the case today. So right. you have Certainly a, not. Yeah, you tear off the calendar a month ahead, take the photos, it's closed before that calendar even becomes right. past due. Right. And we had some, you know, when things come on at Christmas time or holiday time uh, we always, always tell my sellers to wait till we shoot the photography and then have at it. Decorate all you want. But again, we don't want the photos to look di look dated. So try to shoot the photos before you go crazy and decorate for Christmas. Now, sometimes the sellers do such a terrific job on their Christmas decorations. We'll go back and shoot a few Christmas photos, slip them in the desired locations, and then take them out after Christmas if it still hadn't sold. It's just some Christmas decorations are just beautiful. Right. But that's not always the case. No, in today's market, uh, your photos are not going to get dated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah you, sometimes you don't even need the photos for that long. Just a few days and then it's, uh, it's over and into escrow. That's right. And so that pendulum swings. It's the market. It's always something. So you know it'll swing back, but right now it's swinging this way. And most of the real estate photographers today, if there's a fireplace, they'll put a fire inside the fireplace. And well, they'll the, Photoshop it. Yeah, they'll Photoshop. Yes, they won't start to physically start a fire. They'll Photoshop a fire in there, which can be sometimes they need to check with us because not all fireplaces work. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's a, well, no false advertising. That's right. Hey, look, I see a fire in there, but no, it's a Photoshop fire. Yeah. So there, you never get a, the bottom line is you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So make sure you make a good one. So a couple uh, uh, other things is you want to hide any power cords, put them away, hide them because it's just messy. Um, put away all your pet food bowls um, or anything like that that's on the floors or just around that's messy. Uh, that gets to put it to again. Same with the litter box. Make sure it's clean um, or put out in the garage. But definitely clean because smell is huge. We don't want the house to have any smells either. They don't show in the photography, but they show to the buyers. <laughs> that's right. And, and no pets in the photos either. And we always, that's always hilarious. Is, oh, look, they've got three dogs. You know, you can see them all three in the photos. 
And I always clear off the refrigerator. It just makes it look smaller and messy. So all the family photos that are on the fridge and whatever's on top of the fridge, all that stuff put, uh, put away and cleared off again. Same with family photos because most of us probably have too many floating around our house. So put those away too. <laughs> so this is all according to the real estate photographers that we work with on a daily basis. These are the five things that they wish they could see every time they show up to photograph a house. Yeah, and I'm happy to come walk through with you. We can make a list. Now I am an accredited stager, so we can come through and uh, hit the target things that are going to make your house uh, look its very, very best and shine it up and clean it out and get it ready for professional photography. That sounds perfect and accredited stager, huh? That's it. Okay, that's terrific news. Uh -huh. Terrific and terrific. Okay, hey guys, I'm Gary. I'm Lisa. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks for watching.